all right today the topic is diabetes mellitus i think the most common disease most easy also most difficult also and very easy to understanding also so i'm going by step by steps first definitions what is diabetes mellitus definition is a simple definitions it is a metabolic disorders okay it is a metabolic disorder characterized by hyperglycemia characterized by hyperglycemia this is very important it is a metabolic disorders characterized by hyperglycemia resulting from impure impaired insulin secretion secretion or and action this is very important terms it is a metabolic disorders metabolic disorders characterized by hyperglycemia means glucose level high resulting from impure insulin secretions and or actions of insulins okay this is the definitions and let's go types types first is a type 1 diabetes mellitus 2 is a type 2 diabetes mellitus 3 is a gestational gestational diabetes mellitus okay and four is other types other types the most other common types is a modi 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 is a maturing maturing onset maturing onset diabetes of young maturing onset diabetes of youngs and others is a disease of pancreas disease of pancreas and endocrine disorders endocrine disorders but we are going to discuss about type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes because these are the most common others are not so common so one more time i want to repeat definitions it is a metabolic disorders means metabolism disorders characterized by hyperglycemia means glucose level increase resulting from impaired insulin secretion maybe no insulin secretion or on or and axons means there is an impairment of insulin axons type 1 2 gestational and other modi you need to remember okay now let's differentiate what is type 1 and type 2 this is most common okay and very important for us in the diagnostic purpose as well as the for pharmalo pharmacological purpose type 1 and type 2 diabetes mellitus very simple i'm simply i'm is uh, describing the onset type 1 onset is juvenile in a children okay here is the onset here is the onset is adult adult onset okay second is a here in a type 1 is a absolute insulin deficiency absolute this is this term you need to remember absolute insulin deficiency it means that loss of insulin production insulin productions absolute but here is a relative a relative insulin deficiency in relative insulin deficiency it means here is a production of insulin is okay but there is inability inability of cell to respond to respond the insulin you need to very very understand this point number two type 1 diabetes absolute insulin deficiency it means there is no insulin production at all but type 2 there is a relative insulin deficiency it means that there is a production of insulins but the inability of cell to respond the insulins means they cannot give the response to the insulins point number three the difference the type 1 cause actually is of course beta cell destructions beta cell destruction if beta cell to complete destruction it means no insulins may be due to autoimmune immune mediated autoimmune or maybe idiopathic 
idiopathic but mostly they are associated with the genetic okay and type 2 type 2 is a most often associated with obesity most often associated with obesity and lifestyle and it is also associated with genetic okay and treatment according to the treatment also we can distinguish uh, treatment is of course and uh, type 1 also diet we need to control as well as exercise but here is the insulin therapy insulin therapy because we need to give the insulins okay but here is diet plus exercise same but here we can give maybe metformin other drugs are also there i will describe in the next videos but metformin instead of insulin therapy so these are the main uh, difference between type 1 and type 2 uh, diabetes mellitus you must need to remember this the onset is juvenile type 1 type 2 is a on adult onset and absolute insulin deficiency there is a complete loss of insulin productions but whereas in type 2 uh, diabetes mellitus relative insulin deficiency it means there is a production of insulin but unable to respond that insulins in the, to the cells the cause beta cell destructions type 2 may be autoimmune or maybe idiopathic but of course there is association with genetic factors and environmental factors or the viruses also but type 2 is uh, associated with obesity lifestyles as well as associated with genetics and treatment basically type 1 we will give the insulin therapy whereas diet and exercise also need to give uh, in but instead of in a type 2 we will give the oral anti and diabetes uh, drugs maybe metformin and other drugs uh, later we will describe so these are the best main uh, difference between type 1 and type 2 and this is the main introduction of diabetes mellitus thank you